y'all. I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com, and today I have an organizing video for you. I've had several of you ask me recently about how I organize some of my planner supplies. So I thought I would give you a little tour and talk about why I made the decisions I made. Before we jump into it, I know I have a ton of planner supplies. I have a ton of planners. I have a ton of stickers. It is something that I am really enjoying right now, something I'm kind of passionate about these days. So I have been collecting a ton, especially of happy planner supplies. So I know that in advance, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the different planners that I am using. If you're interested in hearing more about how I use them or why I use them, I can definitely do another video about that. So let me know in the comments below. But let's check out the planners I'm using and then let's do a quick tour of some planner organization. Okay, so going into July 2021, I do have quite the planner stack. And these really are planners that I'm using either on a daily basis or a weekly basis. So I have them in my room and I have lots of supplies to help me work in these planners. So this is my classic catch-all planner. It is a happy planner. You can see I keep it in the zip folio. Um, it's where I keep my main schedule, gratitude, things like that. I also have a business planner. This is where I organize everything for my YouTube channel, social media, things like that. I do brainstorming, all kinds of information in here. So those are the two main planners, ones that I definitely use on a daily basis. I also have some planners that I use for um, some projects. So I'm a member of Wild University, which is a fun online um, kind of professional development or personal development tool. And so I keep all of my planner university or Wild University stuff in this planner. Um, and so I come to it every once, every couple of weeks, something like that. So, but it keeps all of that together and organized. I also have a memory planner, which you have seen on my channel. I have kept this for um, going on eight or nine months. I started actually in November of 2020. And I come to this and work in it every single week. And I've really been enjoying my memory planner a whole lot this year. I also have a couple of different faith planners. So this is one that I call my war binder. It is the classic size faith planner. Um, in it, I keep some different notes and ideas of things I'm working on or praying through each week. I have sermon notes. I have power verses that I have um, notated on here and journaled. And then I have a prayer journal. I also have a place for notes for devotionals. So this is the one I take to church with me. And then in my morning quiet time, I use my main faith planner, um, which I've been doing for coming up on a year. I started it in July of 2020. And what I do is I decorate each week and then I am either going through a devotional plan or some sort of Bible reading plan. I write the verses that I'm reading and then notes that I have from those verse. So um, on the monthly layout, I, I write a verse of the day and I'm following the Illustrated Faith Beloved Society scripture writing plan. So that's what I'm doing for that. Um, I'm loving my faith planner. Like I said, I use it every day. So every morning, this is the first planner that I grab, the first planner that I touch and the first planner I write in as I have my morning quiet time. Okay, and then I have a few other planners that I work in on a regular basis. This is a new one that I'm trying. This is actually a teacher planner. I had it in the fall of 2020 to help keep organized with my kids doing virtual school. I have since transferred it to more of a self-care planner. This is my current week that I'm working on. You can see I haven't quite filled it out. I'm on Tuesday, so I need to come back and look at Monday. Um, but it's kind of helping me track my self-care. And so uh, my wellness, my exercise, my food, things like that. It's something I'm trying to see if I like it. You can see I did a little bit of it here and there. So I'm liking the format. I'm just making sure that I can keep up with it if I want to keep doing it in the future. Then I have my lettering planner. This one started in 2021, and what I do is letter a word of the day, and then you can see I just have lettering practice that I do every day. Um, usually I do two or three days at a time, kind of catch up. I um, don't always do this every single day, 
um, but I've done a lot of it and I'm actually really proud of myself for keeping up so far. Um, as of right now, I'm a little bit behind for June, so I need to play some catch up just because summer has kind of thrown off my normal evening schedule, which would be when I kind of jump into this, but still loving my lettering planner. So this is one I'm using on a pretty regular basis. And then last, this is my creative journal. This is one, um, I'm not going to do a flip through just because it's kind of personal, but I'm doing some creative journaling just for me in this and following some different prompts that I'm finding online or through different classes I've taken. So this is a separate planner that stays on my desk so that I can work on it when I have time. Like I said before, I am completely aware that this is a lot of planners, but it is projects and planning that I enjoy. So I have been able to stick with most of them for about six months so far. So we'll see how the rest of the year goes. If you want kind of a more detailed walkthrough of how I use any of these, make sure to list that in the comments, but let me show you how I store my planner supplies. Okay, first up, this is my planner tote. This is from the Happy Planner. I have a few extra patches on it. And you can see it's this navy blue kind of denim look. And in it, I normally keep my business planner and my catch-all planner and generally one more planner that I want to work with. Um, and some pens. These are the Ink Joy pens. These are kind of my regular planner pens. And then these are my pip sticks stickers that I keep in here for my gratitude journaling. And I take this on the go all of the time. I, when I'm sitting at sports games, when I'm doing, um, you know, spending time in the evenings, just downstairs with my husband, I'll bring my planner bag down to work. And that's how I get so much, um, work done in my planner, so much planning done. Um, so I love having this tote. It's nice and sturdy to bring around with me. Um, I can even fit some more sticker books, things like that in there if I wanted. So this is how I do planning on the go. Let me show you planning in my craft room. Okay, because planning is an activity that I have really enjoyed, these are all of my spare planners. Some of them are planners that I am currently using and pulling pages out of. Some of them represent planners that I will be starting in July and August just because they are new planners that I'm excited about. And then I also have many guided journals. So over here I have happy notes and then all the way to about right here are all guided journals and these are happy notes. So I use them just like you would extra notebooks and things in your office and then guided journals, I mix them in sometimes to my catch all planner. So I have them all lined up on my shelf underneath my card catalog so I can see them. Some of them are facing opposite just so I can fit more in there. And let me show you how I keep them standing okay, up. If you look closely, you can see this metal piece and that is actually a pot lid rack. So this was designed to go in your kitchen cabinets to hold pot lids. It works great for organizing my planners so that when I take one out, they don't all fall over, which is what was happening before. So I actually have two of them. I will link the ones that I'm using on Amazon. You can also pick them up just at a local store and also try like TJ Maxx or Home Goods because you can find some really good deals. But that's how I keep them all organized on a shelf. Okay, so this is my planner cart. It lives over here next to my sewing machine. Um, I can pull it over to my desk when I am planning or when I need it. But I keep a lot of my accessories in here. So I have all of my extra filler paper up here on the top, classic size, big size, and some half sheets. These are accessory books that I have collected and some smaller sticker books, some tools, for instance, the punch, an extra planner bag, and then my small books of which I don't have too many of those. And then underneath here, I actually use the Happy Planner storage boxes to organize envelopes and dividers. And then this was part of the build your own planner. I haven't actually used it yet. This box is actually mostly empty. And then here are spare planner covers. So these are from past planners. Um, I keep them all together on some rings. I like to switch out my planner co uh, covers pretty frequently. So it's fun to keep the old ones and just be able to change it up. It feels like getting a brand new planner. And then on the bottom here, you see my planner covers that I can change up. 
a few more accessories like pocket books, some extra pages from a planner that I was working in. And then this is just some miscellaneous things that used to be on a vision board in my room. So that is my planner cart where I keep a lot of my extra accessories so I can have them on hand. It's really easy to just roll this cart over to my desk. All right, let's talk planner stickers. So I have certainly collected a ton of planner stickers and I have them in two spots in my room. One is right underneath my happy planners right here. They are organized in plastic bins from the Target uh, bathroom section actually. And you can see the different categories that are in each one and I keep them all in the bin. I can just pull it out and grab what I need. I do use binder rings on the top of my Happy Planner stickers just to make sure that the pages don't fall out after being used a lot. So I will link those. I like the colorful ones. Um, so those are pretty easy. And then I have some more stickers in one other space in my craft room. The other place that I keep planner stickers would be in these long bins, which are also from Target. I have three of them that are devoted to happy planner stickers. You can see there's plenty of room to grow in this area, especially. And then over here are my paper house stickers. So I have a ton of paper house product. I'm on their creative team. I'm loving their planner stickers, especially um, really functional. And then I have some extra sticker books that I'm currently kind of reorganizing my um, paper house stickers and a few more stickers in there. So those are kind of my miscellaneous planner stickers, but I have a lot. Yes, they are fun. They are wonderful. I can use them in things other than my planners. And I do try to use a lot of them in my spreads and not hoard them. Last but not least, as far as planner accessories, I have these um, organized over in the side of my desk. So this is a slim cart that I got from Amazon. I'll definitely link it. And I keep a few more planner supplies. So I have my micro notes. This is all Disney things, um, some accessory packs and extension packs. And then back here, I have a lot of old dividers that I use for different projects in my planners. I have some journaling pieces here, some half sheet or uh, um, classic skinny, some Mambi sticks in the back there. And then of course, some washi tape that I use on a regular basis, kind of just hanging off of the front. As far as the planners I use on a daily basis, I keep my big size planners over here on my desk. This is faith and wellness and lettering. And then as we scan over, on my desk. I have a couple more planners. This is my faith um, war binder and then my creative journal is right underneath. So I'm able to have them on hand near me so I can grab them when I have time. And I also like having them visible because then um, it will remind me that I wanted to work in those planners. So like I said, I know it's a lot of planner supplies. I love it. Keeping them organized is what really helps me be able to utilize my supplies. I've talked to lots of planner babes that end up buying duplicates of things or forget they have things. So keeping everything organized in some different locations, making sure you have a way to plan on the go is really important to adding to the success of your planning. Let me know what other questions you might have about planning. Like I said, it's been kind of a new passion of mine, maybe new for about the past year. I have really enjoyed diving into planners and using them to organize my life, using them as a creative outlet. It has been fantastic. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. If you're interested in finding out more about Scrappy YouTube membership and some of the perks that they receive, make sure to check the link in the description box about joining this channel. I have linked lots of supplies down below that you might have seen in this video. If you have any questions about those, make sure to let me know below. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.